let's uh i'm glad you, you got here alan and i are just about to review puss in boots the last wish oh just in time about- just in time for Puss in Boots, <laughs> and you can decide whether that's a movie that you're going to want to see this holiday season. Well, I mean, we'll find out. We'll find out. Um, let's see. I'm going to put I'm going to put Alan front and center here, and he's going to tell us all uh, about the story of Puss in Boots: The Last Wish. Because when I looked up Puss in Boots, there's like there's a Puss in Boots movie that was made a while ago, and it got yeah, which it, which I, I might have seen, but I cannot remember a thing about it. All right, tell us about Puss in Boots, The Last Wish. Yeah, so essentially uh, we have Puss in Boots, uh, Antonio Banderas. He is uh, he is living his life to the fullest. And uh, what we find out is that uh, at the beginning of the movie, he is killed. Um, but because cats have nine lives, he comes back. And, but we find out that uh, he has just spent his eighth life. And um, so he has one life left and uh, everyone's telling him he needs to he he needs to take it take it careful. He, be careful. Don't waste that life. And um, and one of the big bad guys, uh, played by John Mulaney, a uh, little Jack Horner, uh, he is in pursuit of the wishing star, uh, a star that will uh, fulfill your wishes. And of course, Puss in Boots' wish is to get his nine lives back. And uh, and so he pursues the star with a little puppy dog who's disguised as a cat. Long story there. And um, and along the way, he meets people who uh, want to get that wishing star as well. Some allies, some not. Uh, and uh, he is also being chased by a Lobo, which I think is Gerard Butler. I, I didn't look it up, but it sure sounded like him. And uh, who who wants to ultimately kill him. So uh, the, that's our little adventure there. The, uh, the pursuit of the last wish. Well, uh, I, it's going to be a very quick review for me. It was fine. Yeah. It was fine. It's not the greatest in the in the uh, animated movie i thought puss in boots was a great side character in the shrek films but um it was okay it was okay i actually do like the animation style i know we were i did yeah you you did not i was expecting shrek animation and we got i guess you mentioned it spider verse animation uh, i'll tell you what it is is they just use fewer frames so it's like you know like full animated would be 24 24 individual animated frames but most, you know, what they'll do is they'll do sort of 12 frames per 24 mm-hmm. frames. Does that make sense? Yeah, but so it's inconsistent. You, you, that's, that's my problem. It, it sort of it, makes it jittery. I, I don't mind it. I actually like it. It works in Spider-Verse. It was fine here. And uh, the Jack Horner character I thought was funny. The other thing that was good was the um, Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Mm-hmm. Was fun. That, that was actually, that turned out very bizarre and yeah. fun. Because Shrek is always like a twist on fairy tales. And I like that aspect of it. So look, it's fun. Do you need to rush to the theater to see it? Sure. Uh, if you haven't already seen Avatar, maybe that's the one other movie you might go see. I did see Babylon again, and uh, I liked it better the second time. I quit. I'm serious. I saw it packed crowd at three. You, you went from Puss in Boots to Babylon. I know. Puss in Boots. <laughs> There's a song in there about pussy. Um you uh, went from a kid's well, movie. Which movie had the song about pussy? Uh, to a movie uh, with two full-on orgy scenes in it. Right, right. <laughs> no, it's. I mean, it's the the. I mean, it's it's intense. I liked it much better the second time. Still, the weakest part of that movie is the ending. The ending starts out so great for Babylon, and then kind of blows it, blows it with this um, this weird. No pun uh, intended, right? Right. Well, yes, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean that. But like, you know, it kind of blows it with this that ending montage that goes. They show scenes from Avatar in Babylon, like bringing you from you know, freaking Salvador Dali, you know, and sort of early film to like uh, present day, and it just doesn't. And then it goes into this weird sort of bleeding thing of like paint, like sort of drawing the analogy that you know, uh, film is art, like painting is art. I thought no, it was. Yeah, Wait, it was I don't a, know. To me, and, it's just a laborious movie to get through. There, there are three great moments that that I really enjoyed in that movie. But the, but getting between those moments just kind of it was just laborious. And then Puss in Boots, you know, I, I kind of want something. It's it, it's, it it's what I dislike about children's animated movies. Um, it's just all action. Uh, there's fun in it, but you know you kind of want something a little bit deeper there, and um, even yeah, and uh, 
So I'm I'm very mediocre on on Puss in Boots. Okay, well, uh, Puss in Boots, mild recommendation for me. You can probably wait for streaming and be perfectly yeah. fine. Well, but if you need a movie to go see over the holidays with your kids, this one is is fine. There's nothing overt like with the Disney movies. Disney movies now need to come with warnings. Yeah. You know that there's a warning uh, that like uh, there's it, there's going to be agenda in there. So. Uh, there's nothing like that in this Puss in Boots. It's not woke. <laughs> it's yeah, it's completely inoffensive. But it's also not Disney, right? It's not Disney. It's DreamWorks. No. Right, it's DreamWorks. Yeah, DreamWorks. Which, so, by the way, I'm surprised it's still in business. I had no idea DreamWorks is even still around right now. Right. Well, it is. It is. But anyways, don't take your kids to Babylon. But <laughs> Puss in Boots. There's our Puss in Boots. Ruby, I, let's do it. Let's. Do I don't it. know, man. If you could take, I know slip. You take your kids to the back shows now. Movie. It's like, why can't you take them to Babylon, right? <laughs> yeah, I know exactly. Okay, exactly. you know what? Because yeah, you, you can show kids where they came from by showing them Babylon. <laughs>